Hello everyone, I'm Neha Shah, co-founder director of Mentor My Board. We are building a community of one lakh directors through the platform of Mentor My Board. Thank right. you. Uh, Ma'am, uh, this is the year, what kind of response is this is the third independent director summit that we are holding we've done past uh, two summits which were virtual this one we are doing it physical with national stock exchange as our venue partner and we are happy to invite 250 guests and delegates, uh, corporates from various uh, locations, Pan-India. Uh, the summit has been a wonderful experience for us to host everyone and as well to uh, for Mentor My Board to understand what directors need from platforms like Mentor My Board. Talking about Mentor My Board, uh, what is the motto of Mentor My Board, if you can brief us about that? The vision of Mentor My Board is to create a 1 lakh directors community in the next 2 to 3 years and we are on a mission to empower 2500 women board leaders, creating a pool of them so that India is not uh, any short of women leaders at the top. Uh, as Nirmala Sitaramanji, our finance minister, had graced the occasion of women directors conclave in September uh, on the 16th. Uh, this was our aim that, you know, we create that pool of women board leaders wherein she graced the occasion and also sh uh, started with a program of WOM, that is Women on Management and Boards. And uh, how is the response from uh, directors? Like, they are, they are ready to... Uh, join or what do you want to say about it? How was their response? Uh, so the program of WOM was mainly for women board leaders. Women from across India have given a very great response to the program. Uh, we've had participants from Pan India and we are happy that we are convocating the third successful batch of WOM today at this venue. And uh, Kiran ma'am was here. How, how was your experience uh, interacting with her and uh, what uh, director's response to uh, Kiran ma'am and uh, how she motivated them. Kiran ma'am is an epitome of uh, good governance which we all look forward to and uh, initially which she agreed to come in and join us virtually but then after we had a discussion with her she gracefully accepted and said that she would be really happy to join us physically at this venue and uh, uh, that is where you know the entire uh, event has uh, uh, got that virality from her presence and we are really happy to welcome her to this event of Mentor My Board. And uh, lastly ma'am, uh, what is your next plan, what, what, uh, what you are planning for next five years? Uh, we, are, we are on a mission as I said to create a community of one lakh directors. We plan to train, nurture, upskill directors, not only the independent ones, but the promoters, the startups and the entire ecosystem. Uh, we are here to have a community wherein uh, everyone learns, nurtures and thrives together. So our role as a platform, as a digital tech platform, which we have created, has been a pivotal one wherein directors can come at one place. It acts as a one-stop solution for every director and would, uh, would like to have a community wherein they interact with each other and, uh, you know, uh, they get those board opportunities which they are seeking because we are inviting corporates who can come in and also, you know, the mentors who can train them. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you. Uh, hello, myself, uh, Divya Momaya. I am a company secretary by profession and a board mentor. Uh, last 20 years industry experience and last five years, uh, you know, with this 20 years experience when I saw 
that, uh, you know, as corporate governance, we are talking of good governance in big companies. India has close to around uh, five to seven, eight thousand companies which are listed and where we are talking of good governance. But India has seven crore SMEs and MSMEs which are yet to see the corporatization. So I think that's where <clears throat> more and more good governance needs India to take, uh, you know, when they are growing. I mean, as a nation, when we are growing, good governance is going to be a pillar. And that's where, you know, when investors are going to come and they're going to look, the first if most important parameter they look at is the governance. So when we, you know, nurtured this entire idea of Mentor My Board, we saw that, you know, there's, there's huge gap today. Governance is only spoken about in the big companies. So what about those small companies which really wants to grow and which really wants to uh, become big? So what is the journey? I mean, today also uh, one of the panelists uh, spoke about that uh, there are hardly 2% of companies in India which have 25% less than shareholding. So when the, there are more stakeholders in the company, that's where real governance starts coming in. So that, that's something what we have, uh, you know, envisioned last five years before. And now I can see that entire uh, ecosystem, what we are creating for directors, for mentors and for corporates. So where directors are able to nurture, groom themselves, the corporates are able to get trained quality directors for their boardrooms. And most importantly, there are huge industry mentors, huge industry directors who already have rich experience and they ha they need a platform to share their experience with the uh, with the you know the directors aspiring directors and completely create the ecosystem right as uh, ma'am said uh, there are 1 lakh directors already here so uh, 1 lakh directors is a vision okay a vision. vision so uh, so many directors is here so uh, have you got a chance to interact with them or uh, what was their response to the summit Absolutely. So uh, I think uh, we started with just an idea and today when I see uh, on the platform we have more than 2000, you know, uh, logins created on every summit. I mean, wherever, whenever we have done, whether it was Women Directors Conclave, we had more than 1200 registrations. So today also we have more than 300 registrations. People are virtually watching it across India. And more than I think 200, 240 registrations are here in, uh, you know, and people are there at uh, NSC today. So uh, I can see what, you know, the idea which we germinated is, is taking shape today. So, and ma'am, ma a little about what are the sessions that are being held today and what are the kind of discussions and uh, how do you see that particular part? If you could talk about the sessions that are taking place, the topics and what is the kind of interest of the panelists for talking a little bit about on that. So uh, the, the idea behind creating this independent director summit is uh, transforming India with good governance. And when we see the ecosystem, when we see the governance, independent directors are the most important pillar in the entire governance ecosystem. And even regulators want independent directors to be more ready and more participative, more effective when they are in the boardrooms. But then there are a lot of regulatory oversights which are increasing the penalties, the prosecution, and that's the fear. So these kind of initiatives, what we are doing is creating that ecosystem where independent directors are able to learn, sharpen their skills. They know where to, what to, and how to take risks, how you know, to be more effective in the boardroom. So digital future fit boards, for, for example, is one of the topic. How the boardrooms are ready for the future. Are the uh, boardrooms themselves digitally uh, equipped or they're still working in the traditional ways? Uh, at the same time, the regulatory oversight, for example, there is one session where eminent people are from the industry are going to speak. And uh, the regulatory oversight is increasing and a lot of expectations of the regulators are there on the independent directors. How are they able to cope up? So these are some insights which are coming from the eminent uh, uh, mentors here who are on the panel. Uh, then there is also one more uh, kind of a very interesting topic on board seat to board impact. So it's only having a board seat or a tick box or you're really creating an impact in the boardroom with your presence. So these kind of topics, brainstorming discussions will help more and more directors to be ready and take that risk of get getting into the boards and performing their duties well. So you have taken the initiative for the directors. Who inspires you for, for the, this initiative especially? Okay. So uh, I think uh, everyone has uh, the inspiration, the mentors, and we are guided by our advisory board, which has eminent, uh, uh, I mean, mentors with us, eminent advisory board. So uh, Nilesh Bhai, Nilesh Vikamsi is past president of CA Institute. He sits himself on few boards as independent director. 
uh, Mr. Rajnikanth Patel is there, who is ex-MD of, uh, CEO of Bombay Stock Exchange. Uh, Amisha Vora is there, uh, Sridhar Ramchandran, uh, Sanjay ji is there, who is a promoter director. So we have, uh, you know, even created our advisory board in such a way that we get all the perspectives of promoters, of independent directors, of, you know, the entire trade and industry. So that's how we've, uh, I mean, they are our guiding stars, basically. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you, so, you so much. much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rashigan Patel, ex managing director and CEO of Bombay Stock Exchange. Uh, I have worked in uh, banking, commodity space, and uh, financial services and strategic uh, advisory services. Uh, coming uh, to today's event, which is about the uh, regulatory oversight and uh, independent directors, I think it is a very relevant uh, thing which uh, Mentor My Board has put in. Because today, what re we require, the commercial space requires, the industry requires, the country requires, is growth of our economy, our corporate sector. And for growth, compliance is necessary. You can grow only when you have a compliance in your DNA. They, it is not that somebody, government gives you a checkbox and you take it. No. That DNA, it has to be of the compliance into the corporate sector. And... Today's uh, sessions and the speakers have really thrown some very good lights and insights into how we can be a compliant corporate India to make our country one of the best governed and best growing. So I would say Mentor My Board has done excellent job of bringing a platform where we can interact, we can create an independent directors which are watchdogs of a good, better corporate governance. Thank you. I am Sridhar Ramachandran, uh, advisory board member at Menta My Board. Uh, the independent directors are playing a very important role in the Indian corporates, but they've just started. We have a long way to go. Uh, Companies Act, two terms are over for most of the independent directors, and you can see at least 5,000, 6,000 directors have to be replaced from this year onwards. But these independent directors have to be trained. They are not just relatives or friends who can come on the independent director's board. They need to do a proper job because public money is involved. If the public money is involved, stakeholders are there, they are asking questions, social media is talking about it. So it's very important for independent directors to understand their role, uh, not just uh, you know compliance role. We need to be uh, uh, working with the company's objectives and whether they can uh, really solve the issues which the stakeholders are expecting. I think that is what is very, very important in today's world. Uh, technology is uh, emerging. The directors have to be understanding what technology is about. ESG is one of the important area. How sustainable your companies are. If you are not understanding these things, your environment, your uh, you know social angle, your workers, how are you dealing with the society? These are very, very important. And I think independent directors have to gear up and mentor my board is exactly doing that, uh, that function to help the directors to get trained. Thank you.